Okay, so let's take a look at today's classwork. Uh, can I have somebody read? Okay, go ahead. Q. Um, Manny and Clyde moved their sprinkler to 28, um, negative 19 in the orchard to do some more worry. Sprinkler now has a worry radius of 18 minutes. Okay, real quick, could anybody identify, guys, could anybody identify the important information here? Identify something important in that paragraph? 18 minutes. Hold on, say it again. 18 units. 18 units is going to represent what, Zaire? The radius, thank you. So we get 18 equals the radius. Okay. Give me another point. Give me another, give me something else that's important here. Yeah. Um, the sprinkler is moved to common negative 19. Common negative 19, good. So please, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we understand that that coordinate means something. And what does that coordinate represent if we're talking about circle? The midpoint. Not the midpoint, well the midpoint of the diameter, but that's going to be, represent the what? The center, okay? So, a couple things that don't matter. Maddie and Clyde definitely does not matter, right? Sprinklers are 28, 9, negative 19. Please write that down on your paper that that's going to be the center, okay? Now, our directions are as follows, okay? Our directions are, on the next page, you're going to roll the dot. And we're going to determine if that coordinate of the tree, if it gets water or not. Okay? So can I have somebody come up and roll the, roll the die? Again, oh, yeah, Anthony, go ahead. Go roll the die. Everyone, please make sure that you have down. <coughs> okay, tell you what. Let's go pointer. God bless you. Go ahead. Again? Okay. Everyone write that down at first uh, coordinate. Read it out for us. 38, comma, negative 34. Okay. 38, comma, negative 34. You're going to write that down uh, right next to number one. Okay? Good. Now we're going to roll it for number two. Go ahead. Roll it for number two. Good job. 10, 10. Okay? 10, 10. Now we have our two problems. We're going to find the distance. Okay, you can have a seat. Could anybody tell me what the distance formula is? Could you read it out for me? Who remembers it? Take it, Samantha. Okay, well, let's not forget. We have up here. Check it out. D is going to equal the square root of, okay, x2 minus x1, the quantity squared, plus y2 minus y1, the quantity squared, and every distance is going to be, every distance is going to be what? What do we know it's always going to be? Positive. It's always going to be positive. You can't have a negative distance because it's a magnitude. So you have in front of you. You are allowed to have a calculator. Please work in your pairs. And also, make sure that you guys are using the distance formula. Okay?